morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kako coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be showing you an insanely overpowered buff that works on all classes, whether you use spell power or attack power. And this is going to be a nice consumable that you can use on every single class. And it's super beneficial for horde players only. Unfortunately, it sucks to be alliance. But this buff allows you to deal 15% uh, spell power to undead or 30 attack power to undead it's stackable it's a consumable and it lasts for 30 minutes so it's just a really overpowered buff that i just sort of learned about it's been in here since tbc but i am discovering it now with a lot of icc hype because nearly all the bosses in ice crown citadel are undead so you're going to want this buff if you are in a top performing guild and just want to pop but before we get into the video be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so we are here in tranquillin in the ghost lands in northern eastern kingdoms we are by magistrix um um a manual um and she is going to be the person that you get the quests Rotting Hearts or Spinal Dust from. So you have Spinal Dust if you are a spellcaster or Rotting Hearts if you are a melee. These sell for around 3 to 4 gold per. Um, I bought all these for 25G. You can just simply buy them off the auction house if you do not want to farm them. We'll definitely talk about it after you farm them. But we turn in 10 Rotting Hearts, and you get a Scourge Bane Drought, which gives you attack power 30. Um, and then there's always more Rotting Hearts that you can turn in. Then we also have Spinal Dust, which gives you the... Um, Scourge Bane Infusion. So I would recommend coming here in bulk, and then you just sort of can come in here and turn in all of these. You can also turn on an auto quest thing if you want. It also gives you Tranquil and Rep, which I'm not really sure exactly what you can do with that. Um, I'll definitely let you know if there's anything that you can do with it at some time, but it's, you know, you'll probably get exalted with it over the course of ICC. But I spent um, about a thousand or 330 gold getting all these buffs and they last for 30 minutes and you just get to use one right like that and bam it goes up there as you can see i still have my flask popped which counts as a battle and guardian so as you can see it pops it and puts it on you're pretty much going to be using these if you're a spellcaster or a melee dps all of icc so i would highly recommend that you come here and you turn in these and get a bunch of them if you do want to farm this or turn it into a gold farm essentially the mobs are all over tranquillin along the dread scar so you can just go over there and start blasting them if you're after rotting hearts you're going to be looking for risen stalkers and risen hungerers those are the best to kill and then if you are looking for the caster stuff you're looking for dreadbone sentinels death cage sorcerers dreadbone skeletons or death cage scryers now the best are the dreadbone sentinels and Dre death cage sorcerers which can be found along the dread scar right around here towards the south but that's the best place to sort of fight them down here and so if that's if you want to farm it it can turn into a pretty good gold farm but obviously on wrath unfortunately the best gold farm is for you to uh, do GDKPs and stuff like that. I've tried very hard to find other gold farms per hour, but that may remains to be the best. This one could be a decent one, though, if you do really want to farm um, some gold here on Wrath of the Lich King. Um, it definitely could yield you a decent amount from all the farms that I've seen. Um, it reports a 60% drop rate, but I haven't gone out and tested it. So if that's true, and you know these mobs are only level 20, so any max level character, I would recommend a boomkin for it. Because you can just press starfall and everything around you will get incinerated. So you'd kill a ton really quickly. So that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to make you guys aware of this buff, how you can use it. And a huge thanks to uh, Bannock and my guild for showing me the uh that this existed because i had absolutely no idea but definitely can be useful um right now in togc you can even use it on twin valks and anubarak so just something to be aware of with that 
But to sum it up, Scourge Bane Infusion, really, really powerful buff that you're going to be using in ICC. Would highly recommend that you come and farm these out. But anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.